Oh la la. Storm attack. Hi, welcome back to an incredibly wet and stormy south of France. Uh, and the weather suits our mood because today we are headed to the far side of Nice in this rainstorm because our Citroen Ami has been recalled to the garage. So it was about three weeks ago that there was a letter in the box from Citroen uh, and I brought it upstairs thinking it'd be just a bit of nonsense and opened it and very quickly realized it was uh, anything but a bit of nonsense. And um, what did it say, Mr. Boo? Well, it said, Cher Monsieur Fountain, La fiabilité des véhicules et votre sécurité est une préoccupation majeure pour Citroën. À ce titre, le constructeur nous demande de réaliser une intervention sur les commandes d'ouverture de porte et sur les pare-bus sur votre Citroën Ami. Cette opération jugée indispensable sera bien entendu réalisée et nécessite à l'immobilisation de votre véhicule durant deux heures au maximum. Nous vous invitons à contacter votre réparateur à Gré Citroën. Ah! In, uh, in, in English, what did it say? <laughs> oh, yeah. It says, um, the reliability of our vehicles is very important and we need to recall this particular range of Citroën Amis. This, this particular age group? Yeah, because uh, of a problem with uh, the door. The door? Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently the problem with the door, these doors of course are known in the trade as suicide doors because of the way they open. Uh, apparently in certain circumstances, uh, particularly when we're going on mountain passes, which we've been doing for the last nine months, the door can fly open. And, uh, uh, and Mr. Boo, or indeed, more importantly, me, well, could, could fly out. I think the main problem is that it's because my door is a door, but your door is a suicide door and the driver would get sucked out. I get sucked out. Um, so it's, it's, it's a door related issue, but it's actually not just the door that we've been recalled for, or not just both doors, because apparently what they are going to install are some parbouets, aren't they? Now, parbouets to, to non-French speaking people, parbouets, are uh, mudguards. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure that the Amis that came after us come with mudguards. Ours did not. And I think, as I understand it from looking around in various French Facebook groups uh, about the Ami, is that if you've not got the mudguard, there is a danger that there is water, of course, which a lot of it about today splashes up into the lock because there is no divide between um, the, 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 the area behind the wheel and uh, into the door frame itself. So water can get in there and equally bits of gravel. Now we, we've done lots of gravelly driving and it, apparently if the bit of gravel gets in there, it might get in the lock. So anyway, we're now headed to, uh, for the first time ever, we've never even been to a Citroen dealership because we bought this car online. Uh, we are headed to the Citroen dealership at the far end of Nice by the airport which should give us quite a spectacular drive on the Promenade des Anglais today in the rain. Uh, and we're going to see what happens. And we're hoping that they'll let us film because not only will we then maybe get to see what the, uh, the remedial works are, but we might even get to have a look underneath Elton. It, they might, if, what, imagine if they put him on an inspection ramp, Mr. Boo. You know, like, like, like give him full surgery. I was going to say, open heart surgery. Yeah, and we'll get to have a look at uh, what's under the hood. So um, stick around, it could be interesting.
Blimey, Elton is skidding in this rain. Yesterday, there was the most incredible rainstorm. Uh, in fact, we've not driven the car in such a storm. Uh, but it did survive. Um, as you can hear there, it's a li little bit of slippage if you're too quick off the line, but I guess you get that with any car. That's just driver error, I think. Um, but uh, it was quite something. And I know quite a lot of people uh, in the early days of owning this here in France, uh, particularly in northern France, did report that they, they had issues with water ingress coming through sort of the door seals or the window seals. And I think that's something that Citroen have largely resolved because I read very little about it now. Uh, and certainly yesterday in that storm, we didn't get any rain in. And I can't imagine it's possible for it to rain much heavier than it did yesterday. So, uh, so I think that should not be too much of an issue, but it definitely was in the early days. Um, but it's going to be interesting to go to Citroen Garage because presumably they'll have an Ami in the showroom and all of that, which we, we've never seen. And maybe they'll have AMI experts, do you think? Well, we're the AMI experts, well, really. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to do any, any changing of locks or par buoys. No. I'm excited about this new word I've discovered, par buoy. It's like Mr. Buoy with par, isn't it? Um, <laughs> Good to know there are quite a lot of electric charging points along here, uh, many of which are absolutely free if you drive a Citroen Ami and you get a couple of hours charge. There they are, look. Um, some of them are uh, car share, but some of them, the car share ones, by the way, say auto partage. Don't park in one of those if you're not a car share. We did that and we got a parking ticket, didn't we? 35 euros. I never slept for a week. I was so upset. Um, but yeah, if you get in the right one, free parking and free charging. Thumbs up to Nice. Thumbs up to Len. Thumbs up to Len. <laughs> I've said that for a while. <laughs> it's Len. Len Fairclough. He was accused that we won't go into that. He was a Coronation Street actor who was accused of doing things at a swimming pool and it became a bit of a joke in my childhood. It probably wasn't funny. But um, he's long dead. We can we can't we can't libel the dead, Mr. Bull. <sighs> no, I guess not. There's a there's a twatinet. Trottinet. Trottinet. There must be more trottinets, scooters, electric scooters in Nice than anywhere else on earth. Unbelievable amount of them. I always love these. Belly Pock villas that are just marooned amongst the sort of 60s and 70s overdevelopment. It's so sad that there are four or five of them on here, absolutely incredible villas, but they're just trapped amongst the tower blocks. <laughs> Shortly, we're going to be making a turn, perhaps after the Radisson then, yeah. onto uh, Rue, California, which is, interestingly, if you come to Nice, that's where the tram runs. So the tram from the airport, at one point they were going to bring it on the Promenade des Anglais, and then they decided that it would probably be better, more beneficial for Rue, California to have it. Uh, and so it runs on the road parallel to here. Um, bit of an incident here, bit of an incident, what's going on? Policeman driving that. So we're going to go right at the lights here, yeah. Ooh. And then you're going to go over the tram track. Where that blue thing is. Um, who's got right away? Yeah? You have. You have. And then you're going left. Here. Okay. <laughs> Oh dear, they're having a bit of a barney in that car. And another thing, she was saying in Chinese. We should be right on time because we've got the first appointment of the day. Have we? Yeah. It's like going to the hairdressers. It's here on our eye, look. 
Oh, what next to the self storage? It looks like this this old garage here. I hope they're not. That's not the Citroen dealership. So carry on. Carry on. Don't go too fast. It's here. Here. Yeah. Oh yes, look. It's very posh. Do we go right or are we going the front uh, of it? I think we go forward. You think? Well, I think you might get in at the back. I think we might have made a mistake here. You've got to get a car in, haven't we? Oh, maybe. Entree Atelier. Yeah. That, that's... that's what we're doing. Is that where we're going? Yeah. How exciting. Oh, there's an Ami in the window. Oh, look. hello. Oh, hello. So, oh, do we go in here? Yeah. Group show park. Yeah. This is very exciting. I've never been to a garage before. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> We're very experienced motorists. I hope this is the Citroen one. Oh, yes, yeah. the Atelier Citroen. You might have to do the talking. Bonjour. On a rendez-vous. Oui, tu seras au courant. On a rendez-vous. Okay, super. Merci. Okay, super. Merci. Did you understand? Yeah, it's on the first floor, and uh, you have to first on the left. I go. Do I then go? Oh, it's very dark in here. Oh, it's a bit ooky spooky. Oh yeah, I can see Dwight. Oh, we're in the dealership. I hope they don't sell out by accident. Because they, uh, I heard recently, we can't see us. And then goes. Goes? Yeah, Dwight then goes. i put a light on Mr. Boo in the car. Oh, look, you see us everywhere. Oh, we're going upstairs. This is very exciting. Spotty car. Where? L'Atelier yeah. Citroën. Mm -hmm. We can not see another Citroën to me. Oh, yeah. 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 You're going to let me out of the dotted line. Yeah. Bonjour, nous avons un rendez-vous pour euh, notre ami. Oui, ah, je parle de Vous pouvez prendre un parking space juste là où il y a parking client. Oh, je suis un client. Il dit. Please open your windows to get any COVID-19 out of the car. <laughs> I'll blow. <sighs> That's a good sign. I mean, sign, not a good sign. Right, let's see what happens. Bonjour. Le clé. Checking it over. Checking it over. Oui. What's this now you're giving him? The car oh, degrees. degrees. What's that? Uh, like paperwork for the car. Oh. D'accord, OK. Uh, vers 15h, ça vous va? Oh, OK. What time is it ready? We're just trying to Je vais noter pour mon collègue. On, oui. on fait le maximum. Yes. Midi. Because it said two hours maximum, didn't it? So he's going to take care of it and do the doors and the parboos. And um, the, on the phone they said it would be a maximum two hours. Yeah. Um, but he's worried because they're quite busy. But he says they're going to try and get it done before 12 o'clock. And he's going to send me a text when it's done. Gosh, that's four hours. It is. But there's no charge. But there's no charge. In fact, on the bill it says G for gratuit. gratuit. We've got to try and find somewhere to pass four hours by the airport. Maybe we could go plane spotting. Maybe we could go to Cap 3000. It's a bit of a wall, but yeah, we could. Not sure whether we're going to be able to uh, see the actual works carried out. Bonjour. Uh, but uh, 
I was hoping they might put him up on an inspection ramp like this and we could look underneath. Well, they don't seem very keen on us filming in here. Not very social media friendly. So Mr. Mann upstairs said uh, on this recall uh, in Nice, they've only had two others that they've had to do so far. Look at this. This is an e-buggy, a Citroen e-buggy, isn't it? Yeah. Very lime. Very lime. Quite nice. So oh, into the rainy streets we go for four hours. Do you think we can walk to the shopping centre? There is a sort of shopping centre by the airport called Cap 3000, where at least it'll be dry inside because it's looking a bit black over at mother-in-law's again and I think there could be another cloudburst coming, don't you? Mmm, great. Did you bring the brolly? Oh yeah. Look, Mr. Boo, we could go to Park Phoenix. Many years ago, Mr. Boo had a birthday and uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to come to Park Phoenix. Um, I'm not saying it's the worst attraction in Nice, but there are better ones, aren't there? Oh, well, at least we can do a bit of retail therapy while we wait for uh, Elton to be fixed. I don't, I don't think so, because the shop's not even open yet. Oh my God, no, it's too early. <laughs> the only people are here are people who are arriving for work. It's strange, I don't think I've ever been in a shopping mall before the shop's actually open. <laughs> what did you get, Mr. Boo? I got you a sandwich. <laughs> and I got some very expensive Malongi premium coffees. Ooh la la. They're very nice, but I'm not sure I'll be having that again in a hurry. What's that? Breakfast quiche. Egg and bacon in it. So intriguingly, all the shops are closed, but there is a huge line over here of people waiting for one shop to open. And I think they're waiting for Swatch to open because they're hoping there's going to be a drop of the Omega Moonshot watch. The stuff you learn on this channel. Tension is mounting for the Omega Swatch Watch. I mean, I don't want one, but I'm tempted to get one because maybe I could sell it on eBay. For a shop that sells watches, this seems to be late opening. Oh, here it comes. The moment of truth. So it's now 11.50, so we've three and a half hours of shopping mal excitement, and we're still waiting for the call. Three. It's now 10 past one. And we still haven't had the call? No. So what are we doing now? We're gonna go and beat them up. <laughs> So it is now uh, 20 minutes to two. We are back at Citroen and we still haven't received the call. So we're just gonna go in there and sulk, aren't we? Because it's been quite a long day. So we are back here and uh, nothing has happened. The car's moved to parking space, that's it. So we've now come up on the roof. Mr. Boo's threatened to throw himself off. What's annoying is if they were so busy, why did they get us to bring the car in at 8.15? We could have brought it in this afternoon. Complete waste of everyone's time. Just got a message. Bonjour, Monsieur Fountain. Citroen Nice vous informe que votre véhicule est prêt. It's ready. Here she comes. Merci, Monsieur. We were getting a bit temp bad tempered there, Mr. Boo, weren't we? We were getting a little bit bad tempered. Because we couldn't see that anything had been done to the car, even though it had been moved. But when we get home, I'm just going to try and show you these pieces that they've put in. Uh, and I am also going to see whether it's made the doors more efficient at closing because they're just a bit. They've been a bit dodged, haven't they? A bit dodged. You're not always sure they're fully closed. So let's take a drive home and see what happens. It's 
So, we made it safely home. The sun is shining again. Let's just check what they did. This is the whole new piece that goes in here. So it goes right round over the top of the wheel, uh, or just halfway. But it goes up to here. OK. So it's preventing any stones or stuff flying up here and getting into the lock, which is apparently what the problem was. Um, and as I say, as far as I understand it, all the new Amis come with this as standard now. And this one goes from here, round here, to about there. Right. Again, to stop things flying up, because that's where all the electrics are. There, at the back. Because you did, sometimes you would be driving and you would hear a stone get inside the, the car, wouldn't you? And yeah. rattle round in a kind of crazy, uh, yeah, like a, like a pinball machine way. Um, and the thing we did notice is about the doors is they were closing so much better on the way back, weren't they? they and they're not rattling anything like they were. So I think, Mr. Bill, you're not going to fall out now. No, and you're not going to fall out or get pushed out. It's true. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed that video. It's been quite a day. If you have, please give us a like. Please uh, give us a comment. Please think about buying us a coffee and have a great week, everyone. We will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.